I'm gonna do right here, I just wanted to show you a little bit on how we how we clean the chicken. Um, I put some lemon in there, directed some lime. Um, I put some salt in there. And then, um, this is not a lot of salt. It might look like it, but uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, scrub these pieces off, get all the slime from under the skin. Cause nobody wants a greasy, slimy chicken. You gotta make sure that you clean the chicken well because you don't want to have any any type of um seminella poison anything like that so you got to clean it up okay chicken i have my chicken already dried um we quartered it up we cut it all down uh, right now i'm going to make the uh, egg wash that we're going to first dip the chicken in and then the uh, flour and we have our seasoning so we'll show you a step-by-step -step thing on how we cook our chicken um, and while we're at it, we got the grease on the stove right there, waiting for it to cook at 350. And once it's at 350, it's gonna let us know that the chicken is ready to go. So what I have right here is like a third cup of water. Gonna mix that with the eggs. We wanna beat that real well. You can see I got my Cholula um, hot sauce up, but um, a couple of people in the house don't like the word spicy, so. I'll add this to this mix um, a little bit later when I get ready to um, do my five pieces that I'm gonna put the spicy on. Okay, so that's set and ready. Now we're gonna season the chicken. So what we have here, we put all our chicken in a bowl. It's already been dried. You put that in the grease, you don't want a bunch of splash. I also cut a couple of tenderloins off of those um, carcasses that we had. So make a couple of little chicken tenders with it also. So right here we have our seasoning. We'll go ahead and mix this up together. But what's in here is, um, you know, we got thyme. And we got a teaspoon of everything. Thyme, parsley, paprika, some seasoning salt, the uh, onion powder, garlic powder, kosher salt, pepper. Just a lot of the um, regular go-to seasonings. And so this is what we have once we got all of those seasonings combined together. We're gonna duck maybe about three fourths of this onto the chicken to season. And we'll put the rest of it in the flour so we can bring all of that seasoning together and um, get it going. So you dive on in with your hands. Make sure you're massaging that, that seasoning into all your chicken, okay? Want to get it all covered, get everything coated. And you always want to season, season everything. Season your flour, season your chicken, because you don't want bland fried chicken. Nobody wants that. So once you get the seasoning incorporated um, on your chicken, um, we'll uh, get the egg wash squared away. Yeah. We mix in the seasoning and the flour. Feel like I need a little bit more. Pepper, chili powder. And a little paprika. Just for the color. Keep the flour in the bowl, cookies. <laughs> All right, so we got our egg wash mixture. We have our, egg, our chicken and our um, batter, I mean our flour. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just separate a few pieces, because I, like I said earlier, I'm gonna put my Cholula hot sauce on some in, in this mix. And I just wanna have some of those. I'm gonna find my little tenderloins and fry those up too. I'm telling you, when you finish, this is gonna be some of the crunchiest chicken. Oh my God. You guys are gonna love it. All right, let me check my temperature. I'll be right back. Uh, what I'm going to start doing now, my grease is almost the temperature. I'm going to put some of the chicken in the um, 
and our egg wash. I may cook these in different batches, but uh, what you wanna do, like the, the white meat, which is the uh, chicken wing and the breast, they take, they take about nine to 10 minutes to cook. So we'll cook these first, and then um, the dark meat takes about 12 to 15 minutes to, to cook. So once we got that in, mostly white meat, that's, that's the breast. This leg right here. The wings. I'm gonna put that in our egg wash. And the thighs. All right, we got that in the egg wash. We we'll cover it up, shake it out, turn the hands off like this. So now we got the chicken coated, nice coat on it. I have some, I'm using self-rising flour because I like how the compounds in that, they'll break down and give you that extra crispy uh, crust. Okay. Place these off to the side to before we get ready. That's how it's cooked. That's what it's supposed to look like. She ready. She almost ready for the grease. Okay, so we're gonna move over to the, oh, go ahead and start dipping those in. Don't worry about it in this part right here. If you knock off some of that seasoning, that's fine. Um, that egg wash and, and that, that's gonna suck that right back in. Um, we also got the seasoning and the flour. All right, we're gonna move over to, we're gonna move over to the oil right now. We're gonna see what the temperature is. And then we're gonna see if it's ready for frying. We're right at 350, just a little bit above. But don't worry, once we put the um, chicken in, that's gonna bring that temperature down. So you just want to lay the chicken in there. See, that's what you're looking for right there. Nice boil. Instant fry and you hit, hit it in. So we'll, leave, we'll let those three cook. We're gonna cook in there for, like I said, about um, nine or 10 minutes. And then they'll, we'll take them out. Good. Um, you can see it, we got about uh, four more minutes left to fry this. Uh, we got a nice golden brown finish. It's gonna be on. So we ain't gonna be ready probably faster than those breath. But I took the bones out, so they should cook really good. Yes, that's all goodness right there. That's what I'm talking about. You see that? Now, you can hear the bubbles are not as violent as they were when we first put the chicken in. The chicken is now float to the top, and that's your sign that the chicken is done. But like I said, you want to look at chicken, white meat, nine to ten minutes. Look, nice golden brown, crunchy shit. That's what I'm talking about right there. Flavor don't burn no chicken. They got that thing coming out there golden brown, crunchy. I have folks say they don't even eat breast meat, but when I cook that, that chicken breast, they be going at it. 
we got the dark meat coming up now. We got the dark meat. I want to check the oil temperature. Because sometimes you got to get the oil. So right now, once you um, have your oil at 350 and you cook a couple of batches, that cold chicken, cool chicken, drop the temperature of the oil. So you got to make sure your oil is up around 325, 350 for that next batch because you don't want to have, you don't want to boil your chicken in the grease. You want that thing to fry as soon as it's touching, touching the grease. You want to hear the sizzle, the bubbles. So right now, temperature rising back up. We're at about 275, so. We go, like I said, I'm putting my Cholula in that egg wash mixture. We got about uh, four or five pieces of chicken left that I wanted to do and make spicy, so put out your little hot sauce in there, man. This gives it a real, real great flavor. Nice little tangy to it. Or, you know, whatever hot sauce you like. If you like, uh, what's that, Mike's hot, or Rick, what's that, red hot, or whatever, you can do that. If you like Crystal's hot sauce, you can use that. But I like um, Chalua. Basically, just mix that all in. We're gonna let that sit in there right there for a minute. We're gonna just sit that right there because we already got a batch of chicken in our flour. So we'll let that soak up all those flavors and you'll be back. We don't have to be chefs. We just be good home cooks that's gonna give good food to your family. And look, you're gonna be a winner. That's All right, cookies, that fried chicken done. It's that fried chicken Friday, baby. We did that. Uh-huh. There you go.